Ladies and gentlemen, this is the all new remastered Mojo Box. Um, with this machine, you should expect more reliability, more ergonomics, and most of all, more performance. The biggest thing that I did that you'll notice is I have the same stroke wheel on this that I do on the V3R. The stroke wheel on this more is what I'd say controls the upstroke. So the machine has a fixed stroke on a cam, but then when it comes up, you can dial this to say the longest stroke number and the machine's gonna be allowed to come up you know, more, like maybe a millimeter and a half or two millimeters even uh, at higher volts. It has an impact screw, just like a Sidewinder does, uh, where it's gonna come down and have a little bit of a crisp hit, just like a coil machine will, and you're gonna have some give with that as well. And it's, uh, that's where the magic is, in my opinion, for tattoo machines, where it's not invasive on somebody, but it'll snap in and kind of, with that crisp hit, it's allowed to break the skin a little bit easier, but then not go burying itself into the skin. I recommend using a number 27 rubber band. A lot of tattoo supply companies are gonna carry these bands. Um, Workhorse Irons, Lucky Supply, and that was mostly who I order from, so I know that they carry them. Now, if you need a little bit more tension, you can always just twist that rubber band and kind of go under like so. Now, I'm gonna turn this on at five volts here. And at five volts, The stroke wheel doesn't do a whole lot, but it has a nice hit to it. Let's say we get up to more five and a half volts, and that stroke wheel really comes into play. So you have that, you have the impact screw, the bar should be sitting parallel to the frame when this thing is set right. Um, if it starts to lose its snap over time, you can just maybe give this screw a quarter of a turn using a 1.5 millimeter Allen key, and then you lock that set screw on the front right there. That's about it, the all new remastered Mojo Box. Thanks for watching.